Hello! Welcome back to the channel. I got myself a new little candle, so I'm gonna light that and get cozy and comfortable because today we are talking about the St. Bernard, which is one of my favorites. And after the movie Beethoven, I was pretty much obsessed with dogs and my dad was basically traumatized from the movie and said that we were never gonna get a dog and I should just forget about it. But joke's on him because now I have three dogs. So love you, dad. <laughs> All right, let's put two minutes on the clock. Okay, so the St. Bernard is a very large breed of working dog that originated in the Western Alps, particularly in the region surrounding the Great St. Bernard Pass, which connects Switzerland and Italy. And the exact origins of the St. Bernard, of course, are unclear like many breeds, but they are believed to have descended from ancient Roman dogs. The St. Bernard's history is closely tied to the hospice at the Great St. Bernard Pass, which has played a significant role in trade, migration, and cultural exchange throughout history. The Great St. Bernard Pass gained popularity during the Middle Ages when it became an important route for pilgrims traveling to Rome. The pass was also frequently used by merchants and armies, and in order to ensure the safety of travelers crossing the treacherous mountains, a hospice was established at the pass. The hospice was founded in the 11th century by Bernard of Menthon, who was an Augustine monk. Initially, the hospice provided shelter and care for pilgrims and travelers, but over time it also became renowned for its use of St. Bernard dogs in search and rescue operations. Because of this, both the dogs and the hospice gained international recognition due to the heroic efforts of the St. Bernard dogs in saving the lives of lost or stranded travelers in the harsh alpine conditions. The dogs were trained to locate and aid people in distress, often guiding them back to the hospice. One of the most famous St. Bernards was Barry, and he lived in the hospice during the 19th century. Barry is credited with saving the lives of over 40 people. His legendary exploits and noble nature contributed to the breed's popularity and recognition. And in 1884, the Swiss Kennel Club established the first breed standard for the St. Bernard, solidifying its characteristics and appearance. Early St. Bernards had varied appearances, but they were generally larger and heavier than the modern breed. In the late 19th century, the breed was crossbred with other large dog breeds such as Newfoundlands to increase its size and strength. This led to the development of the long-haired variety of St. Bernard. St. Bernards possess a remarkable sense of smell, which is one of their key abilities in rescue operations. They can detect the scent of a person buried under several feet of snow, making them highly effective in locating individuals in avalanches and snowstorms. Despite their large size, St. Bernards are surprisingly agile and have great endurance. They are capable of traversing steep and icy slopes and navigating through snow drifts with ease, which enables them to reach people in remote and challenging locations. While the traditional role of St. Bernards as rescue dogs has diminished due to improved infrastructure and technologies, they continue to serve in search and rescue operations in certain regions. They are also utilized in other forms of rescue work, such as tracking, therapy, and avalanche rescue training. Something else that's kind of unique to St. Bernards is that they have a natural intuition and strong instincts that guide them in rescue situations. They can assess the environment and detect subtle cues and determine the safest paths through dangerous terrain. Okay, and this is the finished painting. I love how this turned out so much. No wonder these dogs are one of my favorites. They are obviously related in some way to the Newfoundlands, of course. And look at that cute little droopy face. I love them so much and I learned a lot about them and I hope you did too and I'll see you guys on the next one.